Hi guys, my name is Gaju and I make videos related to international student and international student topics and all of that stuff. Last week I talked about how I got my internship at Microsoft as an international student, but today for this video I decided to take it all the way back to when I first moved to the US as an international student and I was a junior in high school. So in this video I'm going to talk about three mistakes that I made when I was an international student in high school that I could have easily avoided if I was just informed. I don't want that to be you, so I'm giving you the information. If you want to learn how to avoid these three mistakes that I made in high school and how avoiding those three mistakes will actually make your college search a lot less stressful and organized, then keep on watching. So mistake number one was not focusing enough on my GPA. Uh, first of all, I didn't know exactly what a GPA was, what it meant, what value did it have. I, I didn't understand any of that. But when you have a good GPA, um, it increases your chances to be accepted at a lot more colleges. And if you get accepted at a lot more colleges, it also means that you have a lot more room to choose what kind of school you want to go to, what kind of area you want to go to, the level of education you can afford. And another thing that comes with a good GPA is that you can qualify for merit-based scholarships. A merit-based scholarship basically means that the school that you apply to acknowledges your hard work and your good GPA, and they're gonna give you merit-based scholarship. So you earned it because you had good grades. Now talking about classes, the second mistake was not taking AP classes. What I mean by AP classes is advanced placement classes. Those are classes that will actually give you college credit if you take them in high school. And a common misconception that people have, myself included when I was in high school, is that AP classes are hard. But what you realize, or what you don't realize, is that you're gonna take the class anyway. Like, taking it a year later is not gonna make your class less harder. And usually it's not actually hard, it's just that because it has AP on it, you think, oh, it's a college class, it's so hard. But, I mean, does it mean that you know, the next year when you're a freshman in college is going to be easier, you're going to be smarter, you're going to be more qualified to take the class. No, you just have a mentality shift. Um, taking AP classes is something I wish I could have done more when I was in high school because those AP classes would have counted for college credits wherever I had transferred. And what that means is that you can save one to two semesters on a class. For example, my uh, high school was, was offering uh, AP calculus and I decided to just do the regular calculus because I was, afraid of, I was afraid of the AP calculus. But the crazy part is I had to take that same AP calculus at, at college my freshman year and in college they called it Calc 1 and it really wasn't even that hard. Like I could have taken that class in high school if I could have and I would have passed and it would have been just fine. Another example of how AP classes can be so beneficial when you do transfer to college, um, I have a friend of mine that was uh, in the same major as me and she had done a bunch of AP classes in math. So she had done uh, AP Calc 1 and AP Calc 2, which is equivalent to in college Calc 1 and Calc 2. Um, which means that she didn't, for a whole year, she didn't have to take any math classes because she had already taken those. College classes are not cheap, so like if you can save that money and use that unused credit or that unused time for something else that will propel you in your major, then I totally recommend to do that. The third mistake I made in high school as a international student is not understanding the importance of ACT and SAT um, tests. I just didn't understand what they meant, uh, what value they had when you're looking for colleges. Basically, um, these tests kind of help schools, colleges understand uh, what level you are on. And that's not something I ever really paid attention because I'm like, well, what do you mean you need to test my level? I finished high school. What else do I need to test? What else do you need to test me about? Um, so the mistake I personally made with those standardized tests is taking them only once and not preparing for them at all. And the reason why actually I only took those tests once is because I did not realize that they range from 50 to $70 uh, to take the test, plus registration fees if you are late to register for them. So I didn't know I didn't know in the first place that you needed to take these standardized tests. I didn't know you had to pay to take these standardized tests, and I didn't know what they meant. So 
please like take the time to actually do practice tests and aim for a perfect score because you can definitely make a perfect score or like the best score that you can uh, achieve because Getting a perfect score in your ACT and SAT increases your chances at getting accepted at X college or Y college. And because you have more acceptance um, letters from all of these schools, you again have more options to choose where you want to go. And uh, you can choose from like a wide variety of schools that probably offer a wide variety of programs that might be interesting to you. So all of this basically uh, ties into increasing your rates, your increasing your chances of getting admitted to a wide number of schools, which in turn means that you have more choices on where you want to go and more um, wiggle room on the type of education you can go into. If you love this video and you like all the information I share, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because next week I'm actually going to be talking about three mistakes that I made as a freshman in college. So same version of the video, but college edition. But for now, if you are interested in other videos related to international students, make sure to check out this video right here. If you love these tips and if you love... <coughs> Hi guys, my name is about how I she looked there.